Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, equilateral uh, triangle uh, ABC and this uh, semicircle with the center O put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, pink uh, triangle ABC is uh, square root of 3 centimeter square and moreover this angle uh, BAC is 60 degrees and likewise this angle. ABC is 60 degrees uh, as well and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region this uh, area and this area combined please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore, in this uh, triangle ABC, we know this angle is 60 degrees. Likewise, this angle is 60 degrees. So therefore, this angle ACB is going to be 60 degrees uh, as well. So therefore, we can see that this uh, triangle ABC is an equilateral uh, triangle since all these angles uh, are uh, congruent and since this is an equilateral triangle so therefore uh, all uh, three side lengths uh, of this triangle are going to be equal as well let me label these side lengths as uh, lowercase a lowercase a and lowercase a as well and now let's focus once again on this uh, pink triangle uh, abc and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, a times b times sine of angle uh, c as you can see in this given uh, triangle and here we have a uh, side uh, a this side is b and this angle c is in between and in our case the area of the triangle has been given to us as square root of 3 its uh, two side lengths are uh, lowercase a and lowercase a and the angle between these two sides uh, is uh, 60 degrees so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, triangle formula so we got our area square root of uh, 3 equals to 1 divided by 2 times our side length a times side length uh, a times sine of uh, angle 60 degrees and now we know that sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore I'm going to replace this uh, sine of 60 degrees uh, by square root of 3 divided by 2 over here as you can see in this uh, next step I have substituted uh, this sine of 60 degrees value over here let's simplify so we got uh, square root of 3 equals to square root of 3 times uh, a square divided by 4 and now I'm going to tweak the left hand side by dividing this one by 1 and now we are going to cross uh, multiply so therefore we are ended up with the uh, a square times uh, square root of 3 equals to 4 times uh, square root of 3 let's divide both sides uh, by square root of 3 this is gone this is gone as well so therefore a square value turns out to be equal to 4 and now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our a value turns out to be 2 centimeter and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, lowercase a represents this uh, whole diameter ab so therefore the diameter of this my circle turns out to be 2 units so therefore uh, the radius uh, of this uh, my circle is going to be half of that one that is going to be one uh, centimeter so therefore uh, this uh, radius uh, a o is going to be one and likewise this uh, o b is uh, one as well and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, this uh, left hand side green shaded area is uh, identical to this uh, right hand side green shaded area by symmetry so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, left hand side uh, green shaded uh, area first and here's our next step this time I have uh, connected this center O with this uh, point uh, D 
and now we can see that this uh, OD is the radius of this uh, semicircle and we know the radius is 1 so therefore this OD length is going to be 1 as well and we can see that this uh, triangle uh, AOD is an isosceles triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length so therefore uh, this angle is going to be equal to this uh, angle as well and we know the sum of uh, angles in this triangle is 180 degrees so therefore this remaining angle has got to be 60 degrees as well and here's our next step let's make an observation we can see our this uh, left uh, hand side green shaded area we are talking about uh, this uh, left hand side green shaded area is going to be equal to the sector AOD area minus uh, the triangle AOD area so therefore now our task is to calculate the sector AOD area and this uh, triangle AOD area as well and now we are going to calculate uh, the area of this uh, whole uh, sector AOD and now let's recall the sector area formula area equal to angle theta divided by 360 times pi r square where r is the radius and in our case our angle theta is uh, 60 degrees and our radius uh, is 1 so therefore sector AOD area is going to be 60 degrees uh, divided by 360 degrees uh, times uh, pi times our radius uh, 1 whole uh, square and now we can see that this 60 degree divided by 360 degrees is same as uh, 1 sixth and 1 square is same as uh, 1 so therefore uh, this right hand side reduces to pi divided by 6 and now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, triangle uh, AOD area and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again uh, area equals to a half times uh, AB times sine of angle uh, C and in our case uh, our two side lengths are 1 and 1 and the angle between them is 60 degrees so therefore I can write down 1 half times 1 times 1 times sine of uh, angle 60 degrees and now we know once again sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore I'm going to substitute uh, that value over here as you can see in this uh, next step I have substituted uh, the value for sine of 60 degrees uh, over here and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, square root of 3 divided by 4 so thus the sector AOD area turns out to be pi divided by 6 uh, and the area of this triangle AOD turns out to be square root of 3 divided by 4 and now let's recall this equation once again uh, the left hand side uh, green shaded area equals to sector AOD area minus uh, the triangle AOD area and we have already figured out uh, these areas over here as well let's fill in the blank so therefore our sector area is pi divided by 6 uh, minus uh, square root of uh, 3 divided by 4 and we know that our this uh, left hand side green area is equal to the right hand side green area so therefore our total uh, green shaded area is going to be 2 times uh, this uh, value 2 times uh, pi divided by 6 uh, minus square root of 3 divided by 4 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, pi divided by 3 minus square root of uh, 3 divided by 2 so thus our total green shaded area turns out to be pi divided by 3 minus uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 centimeter square and that is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.1812 centimeter square as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye